subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Fuse and Help. And today we're going to get into how to change the colors in Windows 10, specifically the taskbar, the bar on the bottom, the um, start menu, and a few other things in Windows 10. And also how to make the taskbar transparent or solid. Now, as far as things goes, this is an beta version of Windows 10. And if things change between now and the release, which is in two months, then I will put outdated at the title of this video and leave a link below to the updated video. So as far as that goes, let's jump on in. Now with this, what we want to do is click on the background, right click, and make sure that you don't click on an icon of any type. Just click on a blank space and go to personalize. Go down to color and what you want to do is you can select the color that you want. Let's start with the taskbar. If we don't want the taskbar to have any color at all, we can select that and it will be pretty much a, a smoke color and the same thing with this. But if we do want that to have some color, then we can select that. If we don't want the thing to be transparent, we can select this second one and it makes it a solid so you cannot see the background at all and vice versa. Now, as far as processing and battery, one thing I will tell you right now, back in the day, and we're talking about 10 years ago, that what particular thing, especially the transparency and those little things I just showed you, that took up a lot of processing back in the day, a lot of battery power back in the day. But today, that's not the case anymore. And this stuff's gotten a lot better. So this is pure personalization for you. So your taste. Keep in mind, your profile will be separated from someone else's. So this is for you. Now let's get into the color itself. Then get into ones if you have vision problems. So with the color, you can actually tell it to automatically pick accents from your background. So let's change the background to something else. And um, as you see here, it should pick it up, but keep in mind this is in the beta version. But let's bring it back. And the one thing that you might want to keep in mind is if you actually do have this on, it will change the colors. So pink is one of them, so yeah. And um, also the, another thing to keep in mind is this might actually be kind of a cool thing to do if you have your background on slideshow mode. This actually sounds really, really like a good idea. So taking that off where you can manually choose the color. You can tell it to do whatever color you, you want as long as it's within this, which is pretty good selection. And um, personally, I like this, but let's select, um, let's select this yellowish, and then go into start, and as we see here, it changes the background of all that. Let's go back to this, and if we actually turn off the color for the the taskbar, we can see under the open windows is the color itself. So if we switch the color, you can actually see that it switches the color under the open windows buttons. And that way you know what button is open by based on that color. So that's one thing to also keep in mind when you're doing this. And also keep in mind that the colors within this, the some of the actual windows colors, they do change based upon the um, what color you got selected. So this back button, this gear, and this selected, it changes color based upon what you have selected. So keep that one in mind also because it could actually make it where it's difficult to actually see things or better so say for example with using this light color i can barely see this gear as you may tell and using a darker color i can definitely see the gear and stuff 
It's a very nice touch. And you can also see what things look like from here. So as far as that goes, let's go into ones if you got vision problems. How do you do contrast mode? Keep in mind this will take off the background. So I'm going to show you how to get that back. Let's go to high contrast at the very bottom in case if you missed it. If you go back right here, it's high contrast settings. From here, what you want to do is select your contrast type and you can change the actual color itself for these types. So say for example with text, I want the, I say for example, I got a vision problem where I can't see yellow that well or yellow hurts my eyes. I can turn it into green, do hyperlinks, a cyan, I don't know what disabled text is, select the text and all that stuff as you see there and do a background like that. And then all I need to do is press apply and it's going to ask me to save the theme if I change anything. If I don't, then it won't ask me to save. And as you see here, it changed it as wanted. And what we can do is we can actually go back to personalize and add the uh, background in again and do tile if need be. Now, if you want to go back to how things were, all you have to do is go back to the contrast settings, go to the uh, drop down menu, go down to none, apply, give it a second or two, and there you go. And if we go back to personalize, and you might be wondering why I'm not going and hunt it for in there, it's quicker for me to just do that. And as you may notice that the background has changed back again. So we can actually um, go back within here like before. Select the background, select what type of fit we want and go from there. But that's pretty much about it as far as this one goes. And if you do have any questions or comments or you want me to make a video on anything else, Please feel free to leave that below in the comment section. But please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share, check out our other videos, follow us on Twitter for the newest videos, and also check out everything else. If you don't like this, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so we can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Tech Techviews. Nope, nope, you have